Okay, welcome to another Yang Chen demonstration. And today we're going to do the deer. Uh, this photo provided by a dear friend of our community in Florida. Okay, what are we going to start? Today I'm going to start with a 2H graphite pencil. Uh, anyone, if you have any questions outside in the YouTube, and please leave your comment there, and I will look at them, and maybe I'm going to um, respond to you. Okay. And also, we have a new introductions. If you come into enjoyingart.com homepage, you will see how we're doing our learning inside the Patreon. Okay. Let's take a look at, before we're looking at the eye, the nose, the face, and we're going to take a look at how high that the top is going to reach to, okay? So it's very important to think about abstract, a little bit bigger. I'm going to put the ear this high, uh, even higher. I'm going to put the ear higher, right over here. And if you guys want to draw and paint it with me, and please do. Okay, let's take a look at. Now, where's just the left and the right of the deer? So I'm going to have the. I keep forgetting that, huh? So I'm going to change that. If this is the this is the left, this is the right side, and this is probably the left side. Okay. So this is okay to have a little bit more room on the right side, a little bit more room, room on the left side. So do, do not really rush. Okay, give yourself a little bit more time at the beginning. Okay. Alright. If that's the case, I'm gonna take a look at the proportion. And I know lots of people don't like proportion, don't like perspective, just like to paint, alright? But those are really, really good foundation. And, you know, you have to uh, do those uh, fundamental before we can have fun on top of that. So let's take a look at, if we say the top over here, the bottom over here, and you can see actually where's the middle. The middle is right on, is right about on the neck, on the other shape over here and right under the chest like that, right over here. That's just the middle, right here. I'm gonna take a look, put a little mark over here, that's the middle. And as coming down a little bit more, that will be the belly. I'm sure you, you can find those if you give yourselves more time. Okay, now this is good. Now I'm gonna do a little bit faster from, from here. Okay, now from here, and let's take a look at from the, now we know the belly, all right? The bottom of, of that, I think that could be a little bit higher, just a little bit higher like that, because the leg need to be a little bit longer. I'm gonna draw one line, the center line coming over here, right? This is good. And then we can see a little line over here and just make it simple, like coming up here, the knee, and then connect to, okay. Coming a little bit closer over here. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay, hang in there. Okay. We're going to get into the point that is going to make you excited. That at the beginning, we need to do some planning. Okay. Okay, this is the leg over here. And here you go. And you might be asking, why are you drawing? You used to not drawing at all, just paint, right? Um, because I received some feedback from our members and also from some people on the YouTube channel and they talk about that it would be nice to actually do a little bit more drawing, talk about composition and drawing proportion. Now I take a look at from the bottom over here to top of the ear, I can see that the, the top of the back over here is right in half. Can you see that? 
and I can draw this just roughly. Okay, you don't have to draw too clearly. Now we gradually we're getting into uh, the form. Pretty good. Now I'll take a look, and from here to the top, I think the uh, the top of the head is right here, just a little bit lower. This is the ear, like that. And then from there to here, the middle is right in uh, the space of the nose, right over there, like that. Just a little by little. Now take a look at the leg over here, and that would be the back of the neck and coming up. That's just good. Now you can see the whole face look like a triangle, okay, like that. That's just good, right? And then I'm going to have the ear over here, have a little ear coming up over here. Here we go. And this ear coming over here. Like that. This is great. And take a look at the front over here. Let's do a little bit more defining and coming over here. That's good. Now, oh, the actually is stopped here. Okay. Now you when you're drawing with the pencil, give you a little bit slower time to think about it and make your drawing and painting a lot more relaxing. You don't want the rushing and the end is frustrated, right? Okay, here you go. And this is demonstration is uh, fully supported by our uh, members from Patreon. Also, we still have some member uh, in the enjoyingart.com uh, because of your patronage and really support me be able to spend more time in doing painting and demonstration. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's good. Now this is good, the front is already there. Now I'm gonna double check. Now I'm going to take a look at look at the back over here. It should be a little bit longer. Uh, you can do the measurement. I have plenty of uh, learning uh, lessons on how to measure how to do uh, proportion. Okay, if you are a member, you should be able to access to our uh, learning center, and there's a lots of lots of video in the drawing and painting library and talk about proportion. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at from here from this point and coming all the way over here. Take a look at the back over here. It's just about at the same height here. All right, there, here we go. And here we go, coming a little bit more and just take a look at the back over here, coming over here. That's good. Like that. And a little bit. Spend more time and enjoy it, finding it. That's just good. Uh, after you have those marks on your paper, and you're going to be able to know how you're gonna painting around, because this time I'm not gonna using masking. I'm just gonna paint wet into wet into the background. And some member is asking about what about just paint around? And I think we already done enough masking. Okay, that's just good. So the deer shape is already here. Let's take a look at the neck over here. I think the neck can be a little bit bigger, slightly. Okay, that's just good. Okay, now I'm gonna take a look over here at the ear. That's pretty good, can be a little bit bigger. Now I can look into uh, where are the eyes? The eyes over here, there's a little shape, a little dark shape. And my paper is quite small, this small uh, watercolor paper. So if, I, if you're wondering about the materials I'm using, uh, I will have the link in the video descriptions after the demonstrations. And you can take a look at compare with what you're using uh, to see what make the difference. Okay, here you go. And the nose right over here. 
and this is good. And we need to leave around, leave the space for the ear and for the deaf body. Let's take a, take a look at the space in between. I think that need to come in a little bit here. And this side can be come in a little bit over here, but because the space in between look a little bit too much. Okay. This is the most heavy, heavy lift by getting the shape correctly. Okay. And if you don't trust yourself to draw, and you always try to trace, um, it's okay. You just have fun, right? Uh, we actually, if you need something to be traceable, uh, we have line drawings for this reference uh, in our patron space. And our members can download that before the demonstration time. And also we're gonna do a lot of portrait, especially this month. Uh, so if you like portrait and animal painting drawings, come to take a look at what we do. Come to enjoyingart.com. Okay, that's great. Now I'm gonna take a look at the, uh, the background. Now I'm gonna take a look over here. This is good. And this leg, a little bit like that. This is good. I'm gonna have this base not so straight. A little curve like that coming into the background. And have some soft, some, I'm gonna use lots of wet into wet for the background. Okay, like that. That's good. That's good. All right. Now I'm gonna take a look at some of the line over here. I don't have to draw them. So now the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start painting now. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wet the outside area, outside of the deer. Okay, now I'm gonna use this flat brush. I'm gonna just take the water and put it down. I'm gonna give a little bit more on the top over here. There you go, now coming down. Don't put the water inside the deer area because it would make it look, um, it will be, become very soft edges. We want to leave it a little bit clear edge. Okay, like that, that's good. Painting around, look at the corner of the brush. Okay, here you go. That's good. If you are painting inside of the space, it's okay. We have some other technique we'd we'll be able to rescue and change it. Okay, that's good. Just wet the space. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna coming down over here. Let's take a look outside. If you not be able to reserve the white space at the edge, that will be okay. You can use gouache white. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna put a little bit light shape, a little bit water over here. Here you go. Now I'll take a look. Okay, I try to make the, the wet to be more consistent. Because when we have the same color painting around, if the wet's not consistent, the color is not gonna be the same. Because more water, it will look lighter, right? So I'm gonna put a little bit more water back to the top over here. Here we go. That's just good. Now I'm gonna start. All right. Let's take a look at. Uh, I'm gonna put the little purple purple colors 
uh, of the small bushes, small trees. Uh, and so I'm going to paint the outside first. I'm going to take a look at a little bit green. So take the yellow, took some red, right? I only use the three primary colors. Sometimes I use a little French outer marine or the Windsor blue uh, red shade. And most of the time, I just use the three colors and be able to mix all the color I need. The three color will be Windsor yellow, Windsor red, and the Windsor blue uh, green shade. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna put that on the top over here. That, I'm gonna stop that over there, and then don't paint it all over the place, okay? Just slow down. I'm gonna have a little bit yellow, have a little bit red. It should appear to be a little bit orange color over here. This is good. Now I'm gonna change that even a little bit more red color. Okay, here we go. A little bit more red over here. Now the color changing. And also keep in mind, watercolor paint, after it drive, it appear to be lighter. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna get a little purple color. So you need to get a little bit faster, right? So this is good. Now I'm gonna use this French outer marine, and which is the red shade blue color. I'm gonna have a little bit over here. And here we go. If I use this French outer marine with the red mixed together, it will look more like a purplish color. Here you go. A little bit more as purple. So I'm gonna take a little water. I want it to have a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit, a little bit more red. I'm gonna put that right here, a little purplish. This is good. I can make the outside a little bit softer. Okay, here we go. Like that. This is good. Paint around the light shape. This is good. Now coming over here, a little bit purplish. Okay. That look at that. Pretty good. Very soft. And coming over here, have a little bit purplish color. Oh, this is good. Now I'm gonna take it from here. I'm gonna get the little bit green. Now look at over here. That color is gonna merge into the green color. So a little bit too much over here. Now I'm gonna lift up a little bit. Just slow down, don't worry too much. Just enjoy your process. Okay, now I'm gonna get the yellow with this a little bit blue color. Okay, now I'm gonna come in over here to add the green color to it. It looks a little bit freshy, but this is good. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little bit more of this color coming over here. There you go. Now coming up, so the color wet into wet, we're gonna merge together, okay? Okay, like that. Softer, let it connect it. Here you go. That's as good. Yeah, let's do a little faster if you can. If you watch this video afterward, um, just take your time. No need to rush it, okay? Enjoy the painting process. I'm gonna come in here, this is good, painting around. Don't have to be very, very accurate, this is okay. Okay, using a large brush in this step, it definitely gonna help you go faster. Okay, take a look at the corner over here, the leg, this is good, the knee. Okay, here you go, that's just good. I'm gonna come back over here, take the color. This color, very, ooh, I like that. It's a little big white shape on the top, on the outside, like this. Here you go. That's good. Now I'm gonna come to the, okay, that's just good. Now the painting around time, it's very good. Now I'm gonna take this color, coming back over here, add a little bit greenish color over here. Okay, that's just good. So being a very consistent. That's good, like that. Oh, I like that. And now I'm going to switch to the calligraphy brush. 
and I'm going to have mix a little bit this the blue color with the red color. Now coming over here, this is still a little wet. Gonna coming over here to put some soft vertical line like that. Yeah, just keep it a few lines like this. That's good. This is called wet into wet. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit, a little bit thicker line over here. Okay, this is good. You see how easy? You don't have to have it line by line being accurate. Okay, just get this impression. So I'm gonna have a little bit over here. Okay, that's a little bit softer. This is good. Have a little bit over here, like this. That's good. A couple line over here too. Okay, that's good. All right. We're gonna have something even a little bit darker in a moment. Okay. So I'm gonna have just the red and the blue color together. You can have something even a little bit darker, a little bit thicker. Okay, I'm gonna have a little line coming over here like this. Here you go. I'm gonna have a little line. This is for the grass. Okay, that's good. It's showing that something a little bit closer to us. Okay, now let's see the background. It's getting there, pretty good. Now here's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have some a little bit line, a little bit like a little bit dot. I'm gonna have a little dot over here. Ooh, that's a little bit big. That's probably okay. We're gonna see how it come out. And just like that. And I'm gonna have something a little bit thicker. Not so, not so dry, not so wet. Okay, like that. And have a little bit line like this. And if you have some ideas, just try it. Okay, maybe this is gonna work. Just try it out. Okay. Okay, this is good. Wait until when? And getting there, that's just pretty nice. Now I'm going to coming around. And over here, I'm gonna come back with the one inch fry brush. I'm gonna also just take those little gray color, get the blue and the red together. Okay, look like that. That's pretty good. Right over here, I'm gonna have a little bit, some little shape coming from the left to the right. Okay, here you go. And some shadow. That's good. Like that. This is good. Like that. Very good. Okay. Now seeing some nice suggestions. Okay. Now I'm going to come back with uh, make a little bit uh, darker the darker green color. Okay, here you go. That's too bright. So get a little bit red. Red makes the green a little bit more neutral. Okay, here you go. Got a little bit yellow. When you mix the color, make sure you take the color from the corner. Don't take it from the top to the bottom. Okay, this is good. Now I'm gonna come in over here to have some little shadow of the grass. Like that, this is good. And I have something a little bit like that. And it's coming a little bit, little bit line. And here you go, coming from the bottom to the top, coming like this. Okay, that's good. Okay, just keep squinting your eyes. I have something over here because that's the transition from a little bit lighter to coming to a little bit darker. And I'm gonna have something over here because this is already dry. Now I'm gonna just add a little water in here. Okay, here you go, like that. And I'm going to also add a little bit those a little bit darker green color. So get a little yellow mix into it. This is good. And I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna have a little bit because it just 
look a little bit too light. So I'm gonna have a little bit color over here too. Okay, like that. This is great. I need to have the front over here a little bit darker. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take a little bit darker color. I can open the brush a little bit. This calligraphy brush, they're very flexible. Okay, have different kind of shape and expression. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna coming up like this. Have something a little wet, a little bit dry, and make it a little bit interesting. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have a little bit. Uh, now I'm gonna try to create a little bit more texture at the front, a little bit soft in the background, right? So I'm gonna mix the darker color again, get a little bit yellow, and here you go. This is a little bit darker. I'm gonna open up my brush, and here you go, coming from the front over here, like that, like that. Just brush over and try to make a little bit more texture at the front. That's good. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna come back using the fry brush, making some changes. Also the front over here, I'm gonna have some line, have some green color coming up, just like this. Okay, here you go. Okay, a little bit in the middle. That's good. All right. That looks just very good. I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. I will remove that a little bit, the gap. Okay, that's good. Uh huh. And I, you take a look at over here. I think this is still can be a little bit more texture. So I'm gonna open up the brush. I'm gonna try that to do a little bit again. I want to have a little bit texture. You know, when something closer to us it always appear to be more texture because uh, we see more details for the objects in front of us. Okay. Here you go. That's good. Now this is already dry in the middle. Um, now I'm going to come in over here. They have a little bit darker color. Get the red color with this. This is good. Now I'm going to have little line like this. I'm gonna just let go too much wet. Okay, that's good. Now here you go. I'm gonna have a little bit line like this. That's good. Okay, give a little bit of details. Here you go. I'm gonna have a little bit like clear line coming up and also have some line like this. That's good. And maybe that's a little bit too clear. So I'm gonna have something a little bit more like a round, a light brown color like this, right here in the middle. That's good. Like that. This is good. So over here, I can have a little bit darker too. Okay. Now I come back over here and a little big shadow, a little big shadow over here too. Okay, here you go. A little big shadow, a little big detail. That's good. You don't have to overdo this. Okay. Now it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna have a little big flash uh, green color over here too at the front. Okay, take a look here. So it's not all looks uh, too great. Okay, that's good. That's good, make it consistent. Right, that's just good. All right, after taking care of all the background over here like this, and we're ready to put the color into the deer the body. You see that the edge over here already dry. So we can walk into uh, the top over here. So let's first paint the color into the deer body. Okay, 
has to get the yellow and the red to become orange color, right? You see the brown color, that's as easy. Get a little bit blue, will become brown color. And maybe a little bit more red in this brown. Okay, this is good. And maybe a little bit more red. This is good. If that's too bright, that means you need to get a little bit more blue. Okay, this is good. All right, now I'm gonna take a look. Take the, oh, mm, it's still a little bit light. I'm gonna have a little bit more pigment. Here you go. And get the blue. Okay, this is good. Let's take a look. Is that dark enough? I think it's just pretty close. Now yeah, take a look. Right over here on the top. Okay. Let's cover the entire shape of the body. Okay, that's good. Okay, coming like this. I know some of you painting with me right now. Hopefully you have fun. So think about the color, it's changing from one place to the other place. Okay, I'm gonna just, maybe a little bit more red. See that, a little bit more red, looks like. Okay, that's good. Just think about the three primary colors. That's good, right over here. Here you go. Take a look, slow down, okay? Don't look, don't paint too fast. Okay, that's good. That's good, right over here. And then have a little gap. Okay, now coming back here. That's good. Look again. I'm gonna make this a little bit wet. And I'm gonna have a little water. And coming down, I'm gonna cover all those space first. Okay, that's good. That's a little wet on our side. So we'll try to not touching that too much right now. So over here, I'm gonna have this color also coming down on the leg. Like that, that's just good. And the pencil drawing definitely save us some nervousness. Okay, here you go. Like that, that's just good. Okay, now we have enough base color. Now I'll come back to the neck over here. You see the color start changing. Have a little bit blue. Okay, here you go. Like that. On this side, have a little bit blue color. Coming around, that's good. And you can see the shadow too. Okay, don't worry, okay? The color may be a little bit blending too much. Now this is good. I'm gonna come into close to the bottom of the chin. I'm gonna have a little bit lighter. Just use the clean brush and dilute the color a little bit. Okay, that's good. Like that, I know the color is gonna create texture. That's okay. Now coming down over here, that is good. I have a little bit blue, a little gray color. Okay, it's getting there. Now I'm gonna have a little bit brown a little bit gray, brown color over here. I know it's gonna be darker, but just put this color here for now. Okay, this is good. And now also going to have a little bit gray color, which just have a little bit more blue in the three color together, right? If we have the blue color, a little bit more blue color, it will look great. Okay, here you go. Now, I'm gonna have this, I even have a little bit red shade blue color and coming down over here like that that's pretty good I will come back to add the brown color to it after okay we do that a little bit later now let's come back to the body now let's take a look at over here it's going to be a little bit darker on the top and we're going to also have a little bit shadow over here. Okay, we're gonna leave this alone, come back a little bit, little bit later. Let's come back to the ear and the head, okay? Let's take a look. I'm gonna take a look at the ear. The ear. I'll also leave a little bit light and the edge, like this, that's good. Okay, 
On the other ear, a little bit different color. Actually, I have a little bit more red here. I'm going to take a little bit red. The ear always appear to be warmer, okay, like that. And also on the other side can be the same color. But in fact, in fact, it has, has a little bit more blue. So I'm going to take a little bit blue color mix into it. So it appear to be a little bit more gray. Okay, here you go. That's good. That's good. Okay. If you think it's, a, oh, it's too dark. It's the right color, but it's too dark. Just use the water. No big deal. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at the face. This is only the foundation color. This only do that first round. We're going to add more details a little bit later. So yellow and the red together have a little bit blue. Now the brown color, right? Pretty easy formula. Now I'm going to get that. This is good. So this is brown color. I put it on the top over here. Take a look first. Okay, that's a little, little bit brown. That's good. Yeah, say the top over here. And this is good. And pink down around. Above the eye, I have a little bit light shape. I'm going to leave that light shape. That's good. And take a look on this side. Also have a little light shape. Okay, that's good. Now right under that, we're going to have a little bit blue color. Okay, have a little bit blue and mix into this. And it will become, have a little bit red too. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to come in over here. I have a little bit more blue. I have one more blue. Okay, here you go. Mix into this gray color. Okay, maybe too dark. So I'm gonna have a little water. Now I'll take a look. Coming over here. That's good. Little by little. Okay, don't go too fast. Okay. I'm gonna coming down all the way to the nose. And on the nose, I have a little light shape showing. So slow down. That's good. Okay, go over this eye, the eye a little bit darker, and the corner over here, this is good, like this, and that's pretty good. Now the face, we have some blue color, I'm going to have a little bit, even a little bit more blue color right in the middle over here, a little bit gray color, this is good, and actually have a little bit more red, okay, here you go. Like that. And let this color dry before we come back to paint the detail. Maybe at this point, I'm also going to add a little bit darker color right at the corner of the ear. Like that. That's good. A little corner over here. Let it merge together. This is good. Okay. Getting there, I'm going to add a little shape into the eye. Look first, it looks like I have a little highlight in the middle of the eye. You can leave the highlight in the watercolor painting. Okay, that's good. Okay, on this side, I'll come back to do that after you dry. Okay, this is good. I will come back to the ear a little bit. Now I just get a little bit red color. And just a little bit brown, a little bit red, like that. And have the edge, and just add a little bit edge. Make it a little bit more clear. And see the bottom over here, have a little line. If you can see the color, see how dark's the color. And you very much can paint anything. Um, I'm coming over here, I'm going to... Like that, that's good. Seeing the anatomy of the ear. Okay, that's good. And a little bit softer. And I'm going to have a little bit purplish color at the top. Take a look at the shape of the ear like that. That's good. And a little bit darker on this side. That's good. See a little fold. 
Here you go, like that. All right, we're gonna, uh, before I go away, I'm gonna have a little bit more red, put it into the E over here. That's good. A little bit fresh color, it has to make it look more interesting. Okay, now I'll come back to uh, the neck. Now, gradually, I'm gonna get a little bit more red shade blue color. And, or just doesn't really matter what, which blue color. And because you mix with all three uh, color together, which is the red, yellow, and blue. So here you go. Now I'm gonna make this side a little bit darker because the shadow. Sometimes you don't see the shadow, you keep seeing the color. But in fact, every color has a value. You have to think about that. Oh, how dark is that color? Is that should be darker? Keep asking yourself that question. Or lighter? Okay, and I'm gonna have this shape over here. Now I'm gonna add this shape right in here. That's good. Beautiful. And I'm gonna also put the edge, even make it a little bit darker, like that. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm gonna take a look at the bottom over here, and also see a little line coming through over here. And now I'm seeing the outside in this shape. Now I'm gonna have that, use the water to soften it, make it a little bit darker, like that. Perfect. Now I come back here to just use the water to soften this because it's still wet, it's pretty easy. Now the neck, a little bit more rounded. Now I'm gonna have a little bit shape on the outside, seeing the neck turning onto the other side. Okay, that's good, like that. The color doesn't need to be very dark, but need to have a little bit turning feeling. That's just good. So that's very good. Now, we can come back to set the color to the leg, okay, to the back leg over here. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have this brown color, like that. Here you go. Ooh, very good, getting there, right? Now I'm gonna have a little bit lighter coming here, a little bit like that. That's good. That already look good. On the top, I'm gonna have, make it even a little bit darker. Also, form the shape a little bit, because in the shadow area. That's good. Just for now, I'm gonna take a look at this leg. So I know they're a little bit soft here. So I'm gonna have that a little bit darker, like that. That's good, have a little bit Darker like that, I'm gonna also form the shadow side of the leg. So expand the shape a little bit bigger, like that. That's pretty good. Now I'm gonna come in back to that the body in a moment. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna take a look on this side. I'm gonna have the a little bit warmer, which is have a little bit more red color for this leg. Here you go. Slow down, now take a look. I'm gonna have this coming down like this. That's good, right, that's good. Now, it start turning. Okay. That's good, now I'm gonna take a look at this leg. Take a look at, coming over here, open up a little bit. Oh, not bad, okay, here you go. Coming up over here, a little turn. You see that little turn, a little color over here on the outside. Okay, how do you like it so far? Are you working on it with me? And I'm gonna have this, maybe a little bit softer over here. Maybe I use the white shape when I come back. Okay, now I come back a little bit later. Back to the detail. Now I'm gonna take a look at the body. Now the top over here, I'm gonna make it just slightly a little bit darker in here, seeing from here. 
this already drives just make it very easy for us to apply the next color you see this coming here now we can make this the back over here a little bit more curved a little bit more three-dimensional now I'm going to just soften it okay here you go like this a little bit that's good now turning around over here okay and have a little little bit color over here and we'll come back definitely I'm going to use a little bit gouache white I'm going to show you how I make the fine tuning okay that's good now take a look at the body I'm going to, at the top I'm going to have a little bit red right over here see that this start this a little bit like a sphere shape a little form over here and the back over here also going to have a little bit glaze a little bit darker color like this that's good and now I can see the difference between this side and this side right now because I have a little lighter shape over here in the middle okay that's good uh, now on the neck I even need to make it slightly even darker so I'm gonna just have the brown with the blue color again I'm gonna put this color even darker on the shadow side so make the neck feel like turning around this is good getting there okay all right um take a look and on the outside over here a little bit softer but i'm gonna come back to um, use the gouache white if i need to i'm gonna see if i can use this brush to remove some color make it a little bit lighter okay that's good for now now i'm gonna come back to the ear now take a look before I go there, I'm going to lift up a little color over here. There's a little bit lighter shape. Can you see a little bit lighter on the top? That's good. Over here, a little bit softer, a little bit lighter. Okay. And also, and the bottom over here can be a little bit lighter. Okay. I'll remove a little color from the, from the bottom. So it make it feel like the body a little bit curved, turning. Okay, that's good. Also going to make this a little bit lighter. This is pretty easy, right? Lots of people, they don't talk about lift the color. And, but you can use lifting color for watercolor for very interesting effect. Okay, now this is good. I'm going to have a little bit brown color. Now it's a little bit uh, too much red, so I'm going to have a little bit yellow mix into it. That's good. Like that. I'm going to add a little bit darker color for the detail a little bit later. Okay, that's good. Now, let's come back to, let's put the darker color before we go into the shadow. So how to big mix the dark color? So I'm going to just get the red, right? and get the present blue or the winter blue green shade and by this color two color mixed together it makes a very dark color and very much we don't use black okay this is dark color dark enough similar to black okay now I'll take a look I'm going to first paint little detail into this eye if you want to get more details you might want to paint on a bigger paper right that's good, like that. Here you go. A little bit. Leave a little light shape in the middle. That's good. So this one eye. Okay, let's take a look. Another eye over here. That's good. And, and there's the iris. Let's leave a little bit light shape over there this is good and we can have a little bit dark color on the corner over here too now I want to paint the nose the nose look like over here a little bit small triangle right and then a little bit small triangle on this side 
and in between they have some dark shape and I'm gonna make the bottom over here a little bit darker like that that's good now I'm gonna uh, let go clean up the brush now let me show you all I need to do is to just use the water to soften that a little bit expand it That's good. And now I'm going to use this a little bit darker and put the side, the shadow of the nose. Okay, that's good. Like that. That's good. The face looks very good. A little bit more three dimensional. And the top, I'm going to have just a little bit darker color over here, the type of brown. Getting there, that's good. Like this. Okay. And the deer face is almost there. I'm gonna get a little bit details onto the face on this side. I'm gonna have a little bit gray color here. Like that, the eyelet. And over here, have a little shape over here. That's good. And on the neck over here, it's a little bit, a little bit shadow, but I'm gonna have this ex softer coming over here. Now the face looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna come back to give a little detail to the ear. Okay, let's take a look at a little shape over here. A little shape over here. You see that? A little bit light shape, a little shape and the outside the ear. That's good. Now I'm gonna continue with a little brown, a little shape over here, like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit darker. Here you go, like that. Coming extended, that's good. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Okay, now for the ear, I'm gonna soften that a little bit. And I can make this a little bit lighter on the top over here. Yeah, here you go. Now the water really can make it a little bit lighter. Okay, this is good. Now I'm going to lift up a little color just use the water to soften this. Okay, now I'm gonna actually use this flat brush. Can do the job better, easier. Just use the corner of this, this hair. It can leave the color much faster. Okay, so if you are wondering about where you can get a set of these two brushes, and take a look at the video description if you look at the video afterward. And let me see, I have the link here. And actually here, here you go. That is, is the link at the top. You can see that you can get a pair of brushes right there. And take a look. Now I'm gonna start doing a little lifting for the light color under the berry and the belly over here, that's good. Yeah, take a look, I'm gonna soften that a little bit. Sometimes it's just a little bit tiny, tiny lighter. It really make a huge difference in the, in the impression. You don't have to make it really, really light. Just a little bit lighter. You see that? That's what's good. Also on this side, let me see if I can also leave it, make it softer. Okay, that's actually not bad. And the back over here, I'm gonna also lift it up a little bit, make it a little bit lighter. Okay, that's not bad. Actually, I don't have to use any gouache white. I'm gonna take a look and 
I'm gonna have a little bit blue color, a little bit gray, and then a little bit red, have a little bit more like a purplish, like that. I'm gonna put that right on the edge here. Okay, here you go, right here, that's good. And the outside, I can remove that color, I don't need that coming to the grass. Okay, that's good. So now, this is the shadow. Now I'm gonna add a little bit darker color, okay? Very dark color, and I'm gonna get the red, mix it into this blue, and get a little bit yellow, so now turn it into the dark brown color. This is good. Now I'm gonna have this color. Take a look, we need to have a little line coming from here. And now here you go, like this, okay? Even darker, get a little bit more blue into it. Get the little red, little red, that's good. Okay, a little bit dark color, like that, that's good. Now I'm gonna take a look right over here, have a little dark color. And here, have a little dark color here too. Now on the front over here, have a little dark color. Here you go, a little bit dark color coming down. You see the brush can make it really, really thin. I want to take a look at seeing a little triangle. Now that's really make a huge difference. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to come in down over here. There's also a little bit darker line. Okay, and the back over here, a little bit dark color like that. Okay, now it looks very finished. Now I'm going to have this. Okay, that's good. That looks very good. Now I'm gonna soften this. Yeah, something new going on in our community. We have weekly club meeting. So if you like portrait, for example, come to join us, take a look. Go to the link. Um, I'm gonna remove this. That's good. You see, watercolor is very, very easy. Let me see. Um, let's just go to the Patreon, our Patreon site. In right in the. Uh, in the video description and hopefully you can join us to learn together every week okay that's good now take a look and on this leg i'm gonna have this expand a little bit that's good now it looks much much better okay now i have a little bit dark color right at the front over here here you go, like that, that's good. And this leg, just get a little bit darker edge right over there. That should be fine. Now you see with a little bit tiny, tiny uh, shape suggestions, really making this all come together. I'm gonna have this, a little bit gray color on the face over here. I think this side, a little bit too light. I'm gonna soften that, make it a little bit. Now I'm gonna, Soften that right here. That's just good. All right, this is pretty good. I'm gonna have a little bit, even a little bit darker right here. You see that? That's a little shape over there. That really making the form look a little bit better. And now I'm gonna have a little bit coming down like this. Also a little bit over here. That's good. Also a little bit over here. That's good. And then the body, a little bit, a lot more curve and interesting. Okay, that's good. Okay, now I'm gonna come back here to make a little adjustment. Okay, now I'm gonna come back using the flat brush. Now what I want to do, I'm gonna just gonna soften this a little bit, make a little texture. Okay, this is good. Like that. Okay, I'm also gonna soften the leg over here, make the little green color coming over here. So it look like a soft grass, 
And that's just the glasses have to cover part of the the leg. Okay, like this too. And we might want to throw some line into it. But right now, first make a little softer. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have make a little bit darker green color, the yellow and the blue. Here you go. Like that. Cover that a little bit. This is good. Okay, have a little bit dry brushes. That's a little bit farther away, so I don't need, really need to have that much. And a little bit over here too, in between the two legs. Make it a little consistent with the, the rest of the background. Okay, now I'll come back over here again. Yeah, let's take a look, right? Simple technique. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer because that is definitely too much contrast over here. Standing out a little bit too much. Here you go. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit softer. A lot better. Okay. Now I have much softer, more look like interesting. If you use a small brush, if you're doing this, it's gonna have too much of small detail texture. And by using the larger uh, flat brush like this, it's actually making it a lot more consistent and interesting. Okay, this is good. A little bit softer like that. And on the back over there, I don't want to do too much over here. So okay, this is great, right? Okay. And, uh, I'm gonna have a little bit green color. So that will be the last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a little bit more of the, um, just wait a few minutes. And we're gonna have, I'm gonna have that little bit grass at the front here like this. I'm gonna create that, the same color on the both side. Okay, that's good. Like that. That's good. Okay, now what I want to do, I'm going to apply a little bit white paint, not much, just a little bit white paint. Okay, I'm going to have this a little bit softer. And I'm going to use this uh, garage white titanium. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to use a little bit. Here we go. Now I'm going to have a little bit detail from here. Look, from here and like this. You can see that some texture. That's good. A little bit texture like that. And I need to make, make sure the paint thick enough or it's not going to show. Okay, here you go. That's good. And the belly over here, I'm going to have a little bit more curve right in the middle over here. That's good. I'm going to have a little bit white over here too. Now also going to have a little bit lighter shape on this side. Okay, that's good. Now on this side, I'm also going to have a little light shape. Because you need to expand that leg a little bit more. That's just good. Now I'm going to mix a little brown color, a little yellow and red, a little orange color. I'm going to have it put it onto this light shape. Now this is good. Now the legs in a more proper uh, that's good. Now I'm going to have a little bit white and the bottom over here also look a little bit lighter. That's good. Okay, that's very well. And now in the back, I'm going to have a little bit uh, splash of white to make it very soft in the background. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna use the tool brush to do that. Okay, and I'm gonna use a little bit more uh, water. Now, take a look. I'm gonna have a little bit gloss white, and I'm gonna have just a little bit more water, like that. Here you go. I will put the link for the gouache white if you never have one. Okay, now I'm gonna take a look. I'm not sure, but I'm going to have a little bit going on in the background, softer. Like that. And you may not really see it. Okay, also the front over here too. Okay, all right, that's good. Now I'm going to let go some of the white now onto the deer. Okay, now I'm gonna let go those. Here you go. Just use the brush, brush off, and you can remove. Okay, I don't wanna make it feel like it's snowing. Actually, that's not snowing, it's just the flowers and something going on in the background. This is good. And on this side of the face, now I realize that it can be even a little bit darker over here. Okay, that's good. That making it more three-dimensional. Okay, that's good. Over here, a bit darker too. All right. So if you're ever wondering about how you can actually learn better with me, and if you like the way I paint and think, and just come to enjoyingart.com page to see how our, our members sharing their learning experience over there. Just go to enjoyingart.com. All right, I think this is good. Uh, this can be, say, the ending of our today's demonstration. Okay, like this. All right. Thank you very much for spending the time with me. I was looking forward to seeing you next time.